I'm Dave, and I like to party. <laughs> uh, no, I play drums. Too. Damn it, I'm Sean, and I like to party. I don't change I mine. Know, I know I'm you change mine. I know I'm for a fact you have like never there's no, <laughs> there's no mulligan on your answer. <laughs> or is there? Is there a mulligan? No Can I get a mulligan? Oh, God. Unless they're hot. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Interview's going great. Yeah. So- This video is brought to you by Wicked Good Cupcakes. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, no matter where they may be, including my guests. And my guests today are a power punk pop band that's moving punk and alternative music to nostalgic places. I interviewed half the band when they were on with Paper Dad, and they, for some reason, wanted to come back. I don't know what that's about. Known for... Catchy hooks, infectious melodies, and high energy performances. Their latest single, There I Am. There am I. There I am I is out now. Please welcome to the channel, I Will Catch Fire. Say hi guys. Hey, hi guys! guys. Hello. Toast. Slancha. Slancha, slancha. Raise them if you got them. And ah, room sex whiskey. Ah, apple so, juice. yes, apple juice. Toilet water. Oh. <clears throat> Excellent toilet water. Good vintage. Yeah. Flat toilet. And it, <laughs> We've already had a ton of fun off cameras, and stick around because they're going to be going upstairs for Room 6 to perform a couple songs, including There Am I. Um, I am looking forward to it, and I hope that you'll stick around for that. If you want to be like them, be featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit my Room 6 email address down below, or click the Room 6 social media link. That's where you'll find all the ways you can support the channel, find what I'm doing online, and what the heck, go ahead and click the like, share, and subscribe button. All right, my YouTube obligations have been fulfilled. Now then... Good job, dude. Why the name? Start with that. Uh, why not the name? <laughs> uh, it sounded good at the time, and we <laughs> stuck with it. <laughs> no, actually, um, I'll Catch Fire is a term that comes up in a lot of different songs and a lot of different lyrics. Unwritten Laws said such. Uh, AWOL Nation has said such. Uh, Alkaline Trio has said such. And these are all really right. cool bands. So I just said one day... Is I'll Catch Fire already taken somewhere? And this was back in 2008. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. Amazing. So I took it. So I took it. And we kept it ever since. Yoink. Right on. Yoink. We definitely yoinked it. Yeah. Well, if you don't know who I'll Catch Fire are, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Go ahead and tell them who you are and what you do in the band. And I'm going to step back here. Whoa. My name is Matty. I play guitar and sing a couple of notes here and there in the band. And uh, songwriter. And... Uh, cat wrangler, you'll understand soon. Trust me. Yeah, uh, yeah. He has. He loves cats. Uh, I'm Jeff. I like cats almost as much. Don't fuck with cats. Uh, don't fuck with them. They will find you. Yeah. Uh, but I play bass. Uh, just <laughs> barely though. Uh, yeah. I help out a little, a few things here and there, but you know, nothing real. This guy does all the hard work. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm, we all know. I'm Sean. I pretend to play guitar and sing. I don't know. On yeah, occasion. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Dave and I like to party. <laughs> uh, no, I play drums. Damn it. I'm Sean and I like to party. I don't dude. change mine. I know, I know you change can. mine. I know I'm for a fact you have never party. There's, no, there's no mulligan on your answer. <laughs> or is there? Is there a mulligan? No Can mulligans. I get a mulligan? Oh, God. Unless they're hot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, right there. Interview's going great. Yeah. So. <laughs> so far, so good. <clears throat> Oh my god. Uh, make sure you check out the social media links for them down in the description. I'll put where you can find them online and where you can get uh, their latest single, There Am I. So from there, am I? Y'all. I mentioned that uh, half the band is, is in Paper Daddle, so it's these two right here. And how would you, if you had to compare the two sounds between this band and that band, I mean, I have my own thoughts because I've heard you both multiple times but this is wondering like if you if someone's like oh what's paper dad like versus i'll catch fire what you got uh i usually say paper dad is more alternative emo? indie emo, emo. Indie? And, oh emo's definitely in yeah. there yeah so emo indie is what i want to classify more paper dad um i'd say i'll catch fire we we call it nostalgia core um because we all grew up 
you know, early two thousands listening to punk. Nostalgia you know, core. We, yeah, we <laughs> that should be a subgenre. Yeah. yeah, no, we figure you know we're making it. We we love we love the Tony Hawk soundtrack. Skater, <laughs> so we just wanted to make music that. I actually like never that. stopped listening to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice. Really What's yeah. that? What? Huh? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I would say that Paper Dad is mellow sad, and. I'll catch fire is angry set. Uh, Midwest mellow set. You forgot the Midwest part. Yeah, no, we established no, mid, that last mid, time. I, I, you know, I think, I think we're moving yeah. away from the Midwest and, and yet more like the Southwest. Southwest. I don't, yeah, I don't, Southwest. I don't know if it was a conscious thing or not. But of course, Paper Dad has that song where he sings, "This whole scene is on fire." Yeah. Eh? So. Hey-o. As soon as I saw, Easter egg. as soon as I saw, I'll catch fire, and I saw you. I was yeah. like. Here we I, go. What's going on here? I, I wonder. So that's pretty meta, actually. So, I'm have to um. Ask. Cliff, if that was meta. All right, a uh, uh, g- general question to the bottom. What's your best you're still punk quote? <laughs> we have a whole segment on this. Oh, oh my I know. <laughs> you're still punk. I've already forgotten all of them. <laughs> uh, okay. You're still punk rock. I think, I think my favorite has been the one about safety equipment, simply for <laughs> the fact that a lot of people were newly informed after I had done that clip. Sean being one of them, he was like, wait, Impact stuff expires, and I'm like, yes, yes, dude. And he's like, well, I should probably throw this 10-year-old motorcycle helmet away then. And I'm like, yes, dude. <laughs> That's just what yeah. the corporations want you to do. That's Buy right. Corporate America. That's what Chan wants you to believe, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? QAnon. QAnon. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Come on. By the way, before we go any further, please refer to the disclaimer at the front of the video. <laughs> this video may contain content not suitable for minors. And or children. You or may, people that work on gemstones. If you don't get some of the jokes, ask your parents, kids. All right. <clears throat> what? You're still, your favorite you're still punk, punk rock. Still punk oh, rock. shit. I don't remember any of them. Uh, I think my favorite one was... Uh, uh, you're still punk rock. Um, even though you're... You get pull a great beard here. Oh yeah, that's it, right? You gotta pull a great beard every yeah. once in a while. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I do. What? What's that like? You know, if yeah, I get to your point, I'm not getting a beard anymore, so I'm getting there. If I get to my, my point, little... now listen here, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, just for men, it works. Yes, uh, my repeat offenders. What do you got? <laughs> you're still punk rock, but now you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, love it. I was a little bit fatter when I, I wrote the it. line. I dude. have personally met Fat Mike from yes. No Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And he's, he's not, not that, that fat. fat. He's not that yeah. fat. He's not that fat. It's so what we're saying. saying. So, um, it's all relative. Right. Yeah. I, I, I know, I've had suburban resistance on the channel. Love you guys. Yeah. But some of you ain't felt. So, <laughs> yeah, I said it. Happy birthday, by the way, buddy. Happy so, birthday, dude. Yeah. Uh, you, the real ones know. So, you got one? I have no idea. Uh, yeah. The, what, what was that? The, <laughs> I think, I think my, my favorite one was the one about having to take your trash cans back into the oh, garage. Oh, God. Because, <laughs> yes. because yes. your neighbors and then just that long the, sigh. The of, HOA. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not punk rock so much, but um, anyone see that, that whole thing about the, the history of Foo Fighters? Yes. Yeah. At the Fresh very box. end, Dave Grohl has a has his hair up in a top knot, swiffering the floor. Yeah. And I'm like, that's what you don't see. That's what you don't see. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, that I love that they included that. You still yeah. got to stop and be a Family Guy every once in a while. Lucky he's a Family Guy. Crazy. Yeah. Lucky he's a man who positively can do. You know, you're still punk rock, but now you're talking a baby voice to guinea pigs. Yeah. Yeah. No, True I've seen story. that happen. Yeah, yeah I do that all the time. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what else you what do you think I'm talking about? Talking about all right. So, come on now. One more looping in paper dad here. Who do we have in the group that's dads besides me? Right. You two still. Yeah. That, that The best part about paper dads is nobody's a dad. Yeah. <laughs> and, and everything's digital. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, dude. Digital. Dad. So, I'm going to ask you this dad question. All right. As one musician, dad to another. I don't think I asked you guys this one. Yeah, you're right. Don't worry about it. How do your kids feel about dad trying to hold on to his youth? My son actually, like all jokes aside, loves it. Uh-huh. He likes to make the jokes about it. He he likes to jam along to it in the car because he puts all of our songs on his little playlist on Spotify. He's super into it. Uh, he makes jokes every time it comes on because he can see what's coming on the stereo next right. right before the song starts playing. He's always like, this band sucks. 
we should listen to this song. So <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of him for that, and uh, I'm proud to be part of that. I'm glad he likes it. Nice. My kids are either really supportive or really good at pretending to be supportive. <laughs> but my oldest son, guys. his his friends are, are into good, it. Cool dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they're into it. So good they're job, always man. like, oh, did you see that song's got this many Spotify, this and that? And I'm like, yeah, that's right, bitch. Yeah, that's Your dad's right. cooler than you. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, bitch. Oh, um, back when Guitar Hero was really kind of a big deal. Hell yeah. Um, Paul McCartney. Sir Paul McCartney. Sir. Would, Sir Paul. Was get, he would like totally yell at his grandkids be like, you know, no, I wrote the song. Yeah, it doesn't, you don't play <laughs> You're not like better that. at it than me. <laughs> <laughs> As they were whipping his butt, and, you know. Anyway. Rock um, Band Beatles. Way so, underrated. Right? Don't get it. So, <laughs> some of my, I have a couple of usual interview questions that I ask, and there'll be a repeat for you two. You may or may not remember. It's been a minute. Fuck right. yeah. So, I'm going to start with them. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Okay, give you time to come up with something different. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Um, surprise! No, <laughs> surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, surprise. Some fries, motherfucker. Anyway. <laughs> Wrong size, man. <laughs> Supplies, motherfucker. Um, right. so, <laughs> God damn it. It's been like this the whole time since I got here. Drink up. We're um, living, dude. Ad living. Love those libs. Lib free or die hard. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Why not pull? Hey, come on. So, anyway, um, I want to talk about the earliest musical influence. Remember this one? Or what I'm talking about is that moment where you remember going, I want to do that. Hmm. What do you got? Um, I'm going to step back here. For me, in, for me, in uh, 1994, a buddy of mine gave me Generator by Bad Religion. Oh. And when Atomic Garden came on, it was such an awesome jam. And he was like running around my living room like a crazy person because he sang it and at that time and I was just like this song doesn't really seem like it's that hard to play on guitar and he's like dude you should totally play guitar and I was like you know what you're right so I picked up a guitar learned how to play it through Guitar World magazine and just from other friends oh and Guitar World never yeah, stopped dude. playing dude those tabs the sometimes they were terribly Talk wrong talked about were, nostalgia yeah, yeah, yeah dude. learning how to play like Bullet with Butterfly Wings it, by Smashing Pumpkins and for those I'll you, stick around for everybody. those of you that don't understand <clears throat> That was the only, really like the only way you could learn yeah. learn a cover song that you really really liked, unless you really had a good video of them performing it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that yeah, was before, like all the it was like cheat codes and, for video games and YouTube where everybody's doing yeah. covers and stuff like that. You're like, which, this is gonna make me popular. <laughs> right? Come on, we all yeah. thought that. Yeah. Right? So yeah, I mean, I stuck with it from there and learned song after song, and then after I started to figure out, oh, this sound comes from this part of the fretboard because I don't have any like music theory or anything like that. I, was, I started learning songs by ear, or at least as close to ear as possible, and I was like, I'm actually somewhat decent at this, so, so I just kept going. So this we have we have uh, bad religion to thank for this. Yes, right on. Yeah. If next, next. Yeah, I was uh, just watching TV as a kid. Those kids' bop commercials swatching. really touched my heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, realistically, I've just kind of fallen into it time after time. I've always been, just always had music playing in my head, whether there's actually music playing That was just the infomercial at 2 a.m. Just always in my head. Uh, but I'd say Sublime was probably my first CD that was on repeat 24-7. Which one? Uh, this release was Gasoline Alley, whatever re-release that was okay uh but you know i got the 12 cds for a penny that worked out great it's a uh, scam <laughs> it didn't end well but it worked out great in the beginning columbia house uh, right yeah. starting yeah. us all yeah. the gateway drug yeah <laughs> yeah so my answer has probably already been on the show kids once bop. but uh kids bop goes hard man <laughs> yeah uh, now that's what i call kids bop anyway <laughs> No, we uh, one of my first bands had a, had a show, and we went to uh, Bite of Las Vegas, and before that, like our song had been playing on the radio for like two weeks, uh-huh. and uh, it was still the biggest crowd that I ever played to, and uh, they were all singing back to me like our song. But uh, we're talking about that earliest musical influence where you right, said, "I yeah, want to do sure. that." Well, not I mean, your favorite think, show memory. No, no, no I, I think that at that moment I was like, I, "I'm not gonna stop 
doing this. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm sorry. I, that I, cemented I, it for you. I'm yeah. sorry. I yucked his yum. I, 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 I said I answered the question for you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Or I said you were answering it wrong. No, sorry. you know I was. I was. I was wrong. Okay, so like the Front men. the hurly. Yeah, right. Uh, Hold on. You want to start over? Yeah, Mulligan. All right, go ahead. Rewind. <laughs> Um, no, I think it was probably whenever, like, my buddy was like, hey, dude, I really want to learn, like, some Chili Pepper songs, you get a bass, and I'll get a guitar, and I learned, like, four bass lines, and he was really slacking, because <laughs> Chili Pepper is, like, st just starting out is kind of hard, so he, like, left his guitar over at my house, and then I had a girlfriend that was like, Sprag. oh, man, <laughs> <laughs> I had a girlfriend that was like, Flex oh, girlfriend. man, like, my, my, my ex played guitar, like, he was so hot, and I was like, <laughs> "I can fucking, wow. I can fucking do that too, dude." You had no choice. Yeah, man. And she was literally you know, backed into the corner. Cool like, seriously, yeah. she had a knife, and yeah. she said, "You play that." Yeah. Fucking good She's like, "You do this." No, she went. You want to see these Whoa, again? <laughs> I'd be like, "Absolutely." Do yes. Anything, anything for that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's Wonderwall, dude. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is Wonderwall. All right, that Dave, was, David, David, David. Handsome and Bob? Yeah. Okay. You want to expound on that? No. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's a man. No, I was moving on. on. So, for life. Anyway. So if there's any... Uh, it was the hair. Yeah. It was no, it was, because I had the, the same exact hair. I thought, yeah. they, I thought they were girls, which... But they Didn't were everybody? Cobain started. Um, um, but yeah, back, back when... Uh, wait, 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 wait. We can't what? let that slide. Wait, what are you talking Please about? tell me you're joking. What? 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 Is it, is it, what'd what? you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, you're right. He's the younger one. Yeah, the drummer. So anyway, the drummist, yeah. the, drummist. <laughs> the percussioner. Yeah. No, so mm. yeah, I'm just I didn't want to say the same thing I said last time, so I'm just gonna say Hanson. Uh, you know, for the for the younger crowd that's watching, back in the day there was places called record stores. Yeah. And you would go there to buy CDs and stuff, and they would have TV, not videos records. playing, not records. Yeah, but you know, I'm not that old. I'm not Josh old. In my day. Uh, <laughs> All right, Grandpa, go yell at some clouds. Oh, yeah. That's me saying that. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so that, Hanson. And the, All right. The light turned if you want another real answer, go watch the Paper Dad interview on the channel. Yeah. So... That's something to do with Blink-182 or something. Sure. Before, before we go down even more rabbit holes, we're going to take a quick moment here. I, think I see some empty cups. We're going to do a little bruise break and hear a quick message from future Josh. So... Bruise break. Bruise break. Bruise break. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. Mmm, I love cupcakes. It's a cake you can hold in your hand. Plus, you can fill them with virtually anything, and the toppings can be whatever you like. You know who makes really good cupcakes? Wicked Good Cupcakes, that's who. What started as a way for a mom and daughter to spend time together quickly became a nationwide phenomenon. Their innovative cupcake in a jar idea first pitched on the TV show Shark Tank for shipping delicious homemade cupcakes nationwide has made Wicked Good Cupcakes a household name. With decadent flavors and enticing, unique presentation, Wicked Good Cupcakes delicious, sweet, and fun cupcake jars are a great way to add delight to any occasion. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get free ground shipping on custom six packs. Delivering to me here in Nevada, that's a savings of almost 20 bucks. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Wicked Good Cupcakes for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. We're back, and if that sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider clicking the link down below. You'll get, you'll save some money. I'll get some money. It's a win-win. You'll see. Yeah, right. It's good. If it didn't shoot. interest you, hey, let me know what interests you. I'll find them. So, and if you don't like it, watch that movie. We're back. Right. <clears throat> wow. What a great movie. Good pull. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well done, sir. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Good I, job. I get, yeah. I get intelligent sure guests on here sometimes. All right. I can say that. So, really we're gonna. <laughs> so cup check stick around because we're going to see i will catch fire upstairs performing a couple songs including there i am i which is their latest single you're going to enjoy it i promise death metal death metal it's not it's it's, it's not it, it's not even remotely close it's not, it's not. so hard it's it's gonna so you turn hard. the volume down it's about as death metal as a singer for slayer going shopping with his teenage kid who can't be bothered death mm -hmm. metal yeah. That's pretty metal. Yeah, that's, that's a rough day. He's standing there in chinos with a shopping with a bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, with a big old shopping bag. Yeah. It's crazy when your kid's shopping, more metal than you. Yeah, right. The singer or slayer. Yeah, yeah. 
So anywho, got past for the, so long, dude. dude. Got past the torch. <laughs> you know. So anyway. Who's Slayer? <laughs> Should we all count it off? Yeah. <gasps> what are they for? <laughs> anyway. Was it fear? Yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> just for <laughs> that. <laughs> you get the first qu- first uh, a deep dive question, sir. <laughs> Can we talk about Death by Spaghetti with White and the Ashes? <clears throat> it was, our Room it, 6 alumni? <sighs> you know, it's a, it's a sore subject because Fuck you. I didn't win. <laughs> um, you know, I... I I got fucked. I fucked myself. And, you know, that happens a lot. Here, but, let uh, me help you with that. <laughs> uh, no, I started eating, and I can eat a shit ton of spaghetti, and I would have easily won. But a piece of sp- spaghetti got stuck in my throat. I gagged because, you know, yeah, it's I'm not good at that. But um, no. uh, after that, I couldn't keep eating it. It was like my stomach was closed for business, so I, t- I, took, my, I took a dive, not on purpose. Nice. All right. So from there... I wanted Dave to win. Yeah, well, uh, did he? Did you? That's right. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting you were there. Yeah. He was on. He was here with with uh, AJ from Wide in the Ashes, and uh, so I, I keep I? forgetting. So we need to do a taco challenge. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you were in Wide in the Ashes? No, I've never. Oh, I've, I've <laughs> never, it's like AJ. Dave, what the hell? No, no, no. <laughs> I've never choked on a taco. Okay. Never. never. I have. Ayo, hit me up. You know what? <laughs> Here's a question. Okay, you I need just, some I, more experience. I, I, I want it. I just want a yes or no answer. I don't want explanations. I just want a yes or no answer. Yeah. Is a taco a sandwich? Yes. I'm gonna say no. Well, if you fold one piece of bread in half and make a little no, half listen. sandwich, it's still a sandwich. No, because a because sandwich is a taco. A, a qualifying thing of a sandwich is bread, and a tortilla is not bread. Yes, it is. It's, it's bread. Wait, 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 wait. We're talking a corn tortilla shell. Still bread. No, we're not. Yeah, I didn't specify. I, don't, I, don't I didn't specify so. soft talk or, or hard. Corn bread. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Sorry. Can you make a corn bread sandwich? Hold hey, it. Okay. Hold it. Jeff, Let me bread. rewind. Yeah, yeah. Rewind. Nope. I'm gonna have to put in like a rewind effect. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich? A yeah, because you can make it with sandwich bread yeah. too. I don't because feel it's like made it is with though. Bread. It is. It's meat and bread. See, I feel like a taco is more of a sandwich than a hot dog, and I don't See, know why. Yeah. I can't even argue. It. 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 it just you feels know wrong. You don't believe it. I feel like if you have to call, if you say it's a hot dog sandwich, then yes, it's a sandwich. Mm-hmm. But no one ever says. Let me get a hot dog sandwich. Well, no one says hamburger it's, sandwich. It's that's like that's that. pretty sandwichy. That's that's a sandwich. It's, you know, yeah, uh, yeah he's yeah, right. Man. No one says hamburger sandwich. Yeah, I'm arguing true. both sides. People say po' boy. That's a sandwich. Yeah. You know, you don't say oh, po' is a sandwich. Po' boy's a sandwich. They'll follow you down dark alley that's and knock what I'm you saying, out. Dude. Hell yeah, <laughs> man. I like it. Like yeah, the English dude. language. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I digress. I digress. Sorry. Tangent. Yeah, dude. Don't travel. Um. Tower's a sandwich. It's scary out there. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. what'd you say? What? The Eiffel Tower is a sandwich? Yeah, yeah. bro. Let's I'm... not go into it. Listen, we ain't telling you. My family, my family we, just we got back from Paris. Already, <laughs> like, hey. See? I have no idea what's going on. I don't know where <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, Jeff. That's well, for you guys at home. So, right, Jeff. DJs. Vapes to vacations to real estate? Yeah. So, so how, walk me through, like, how did that all happen? You know, how, you started in vapes. I just kind of fall into crap. Uh, <laughs> that's really kind of my life. It's just there's what, no you rhyme or reason. in from Back to the Future. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's like a tree and get out of here. You know, I've worked in in oil and fuel a, a big chunk of my life, mm-hmm. uh, so I've kind of always fallen back to that. But you know, if there's something else out there, I gotta go check it out. Nice. Take that check out. Thrice nice. Hey, nice, yeah, yeah. right on. Who is, is that? Who is this? Oh, I thought it was three say, dude. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna have to listen I to their music. Th Ice, bro. Oh, so, th Ice. Are they on? Th Ice. Th Ice bro. So, <laughs> Mateus. It's not the first time I've been called that. I call them You're welcome. You Thank you, Maddie McDonald. You're welcome. Yeah, um, yeah. Private idea. Yeah. Talk to me about private idea. Private idea was a punk band that I was part of in San Diego. For several years. Um, Did you ever play Soma? Yes. Nice. And uh, a few other places too, like the Whiskey A Go Go. I lived Roxy. in San Diego for years. Yeah, so, yeah, excellent. Yeah. 
uh, from Carlsbad. Would play hey. mostly every bar we could find, every hole we could put our amps into and plug them in. We would play. Right on. Uh, it was a fun project. My first ever band was actually uh, based out of, in, I was going to say Encinitas. Yeah. Encinata. No. Yeah, Encinitas. Encinitas. I always get them flipped around. Encinitas, Encinata, both have great tacos. Uh, Ooh, country, well done. By the way, shout out to every parent who's let a drummer practice in their house. Yes. Hey, uh, we rehearsed literally in a bedroom, and the drummer was in one corner, and er- like there was an amp in every corner. It was ca- it was cacophony. Yeah. And that the, they were like, well, here's here's the hours, here's the rules. Yeah. But other than that, they left us alone. It was awesome. Yeah, we had that too. Our drummer, his dad was super chill. Uh, shout out, Big Mike, rest in peace. Um, he let us set up. We basically retrofitted Mike's whole damn room to fit the whole band in. As you do. As one does, as is tradition. And that was our rehearsal space on the regular for years and years. And then we were like, maybe we should rent a rehearsal space. And then we finally moved up in the world. It's not punk. It's not punk rock. It's It's definitely not punk rock. I disagree. I'm sure there are major punk bands that you respect and revere. You're still punk rock? You just pay for a rehearsal space now? Yeah. You're still punk there you rock. go. You there you go. Money now. Yeah, you just make yeah. money now. <laughs> so, yeah. um, still punk rock. You can afford a shower. So, yeah. you're, so you're an aspiring pilot. Yes. Yes. How's Very. that going? Slowly That's but fine. surely. Uh, there's many reasons why uh, becoming because a Iron Maiden, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. dude. Bruce Dickinson. For those of you that don't know, Bruce Dickinson, the lead singer of Iron Maiden, is fully qualified with a uniform and everything to fly. Was, what what model is it? 747? 737. Yeah. 737 plane. That that's how the band goes on tour. Yep. He flies it, which yeah. is yep. like tank. Boggers. Like you're thinking yeah. What? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Going well I haven't I haven't uh, flown anything that big quite well, yet. Like but, it is yeah, it's yeah. not like he's flying a Cessna. Yeah. Well I am flying a Cessna. But what I mean is like Bruce Dickinson's like Oh, oh Bruce Dickinson's Bruce. definitely not flying yeah. a Cessna anymore. Uh, yeah. but Cessna started, wouldn't carry our amps. <laughs> he started in one, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Cessna definitely wouldn't carry the amps. Yeah, but yeah, so uh one <laughs> down in San Diego there's three super, super big scenes. The like the art and music scene, pilots and music. Is it pirates? Pirates, of course. Yar be dark. Yeah. Actually. Tangent. I was on a date once. Once. Really? Congratulations. This guy's he's bragging, bragging now. Yeah, you're bragging now. Yeah, he's bragging. So, <laughs> good job. Good job. So, anywho. Did she know it? Did she know it at the time? Yeah, right. Was yes. she there? Okay. San Diego. Yes. Ocean Beach. Yes. I think Ocean Beach. Um, it's you know, the beach by the ocean. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, like there was that, I forget the name of it, but you would, like, you would go on a date. You would watch the sun go down. Yeah. And fireworks yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. But there was this one section of like guardrail yeah. where if you there were signs like don't go down here. Yeah. But if you went down this, this one section, <laughs> that's where a, you hit the body. That's on, where she first is. First of all, she's still there. that's where she is. I, I <laughs> shout out to you. I don't know there. what you're doing with your life. This this nothing. Girl, this she's young... in the ditch. <laughs> Like the guy from I'm Forensic not Files boss. died, so so the new Forensic Files sucks. You're not going to hear this story anymore. So else. anywho, it's tonight he almost got away with it. Dude. Wait, 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 wait. Tonight on 24 Hours. <laughs> yes. So we'll anywho, right anywho, uh, I'm on a first date with this young lady, and she says, and "Hey, one. you want to go see a pirate cove?" And she yeah. sh- and we she shows me. Yeah. And uh, like it mean a couple of different things. No, like le- legit, <laughs> legit pirate cove where they used to come and yeah, hide, hide right. their ships. In San Diego. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I have no idea why I decided to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did. Roll Tide. <laughs> right. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. So, um, David. Yes, sir. Hey, trying to pull this back. Hell yeah. So, we established already that you were in Wyatt and the Ashes. Yeah. That question's off the board. Okay. How does it feel to be the Jesus of the band? Oh, God, he is. Jesus. He does oh, the big arms thing. He's a carpenter. Hey! With arms wide open. Carpenter Joe with arms wide open. Yes. Uh, Quick, give us your Scott Stapp impression. Yeah, I mean, Sean does wash my feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say something about it. Sorry, I was supposed to He massages about. his knees <laughs> with hair oil. Dude. He's getting older. You got me, you know? You got me. I only do that for you, dude. Oh, God. The the hard part for me is going to be figuring out which funny bit to put as the the, the intro to the the interview. I'm saying, dude. We're we're just, what are we talking yeah, about? Yeah. 
We're good. Yeah. Scott Stanford. Hey, Sean. Yeah. Sean. Jack. Josh. Jonathan. <laughs> What's the difference between American and California English? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I say dude a lot, dude. Yeah, bro. Right. Oh, I'm like, saw, dude. Saw, oh, dude. dude. What's up, dog, dude? Saw. Oh, yeah. I apologize to oh. everyone with any culture anywhere. <laughs> it's yeah, not white. Right. We steal yeah, yeah, That's fine. Yeah, Jesus man. Christ. Whenever I'm at the beach and shit, dude. I always... Oh, shit, dude. Oh, oh, fuck yeah, bro. I always... Dude, I'm not bro. Show me which way the fucking brochure is. That's what it is. I also... I found a body by the... Fuck. Dude, this girl wanted to show this guy Stop. the pirate code, dude. <laughs> this one guy? I, I don't the wait, code, wait, wait, wait. Stop. They went down to the Wait, I, I, wait. I apologize to the sound guy. Yeah. Sorry about that. Stop you using my you name asked, dude. You uh, asked. All right, fun's code. back on. All right, all right. They went down to the brochure. But no, no. Edgar Allan Bro and the pirate you, code. You apparently speak American and Californian English. Shut up, bro. According to your bio. Yeah, you know, I just, if I go to California. I, I can totally understand them. <laughs> like every word, yeah. I get it. You know, like yeah, because they speak English. Yeah, they speak California English, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, bro. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Last, last one for you. Yeah. Long live huge. Oh yeah. Long live huge, dude. dude. Tim, if you're out there, dude, I love you. So Josh, too. talk, talk to me. Oh, talk He's to me big leagues. Long live huge. Okay, so learn, I learn me Obi Wan. I I had a band with guy. Uh, he was in Paper Dad. He's in Paper Dad. That was. I was going to say, uh, what yeah, happened? Yeah. What happened to him? He and died. Then, guy? Yeah. He went down to the cove. <laughs> he went Pirate's Cove, dude. He's a cove guy. Yeah. The fucking cove, dude. Yeah, he went uh, down to the cove uh, on a date. It fucking coved it, dude. Yeah, he uh, coved okay. it, bro. I'm yeah, coved in. His <laughs> skull was coved in. He was like, wow. Fucking pitted, bro. Uh, pitted, dude. Fucking, fucking pitted. pitted. You know, reveal right. a little bit of yourself, <laughs> and they just vultures. He revealed a lot of himself that night. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, yo. you're still punk rock. Actually, I can't know. wait to go upstairs, <laughs> man. This is gonna be fantastic. Okay. okay, did I mention you're... after that that we went to a um, Hare Krishna temple for a vegetarian uh, meal? Oh, cover your ears, dude. That's amazing. It was terrible. Really? Yes. Because vegan food is disgusting. Did right? you go to that? <laughs> hey, I didn't say that. That shocked me, dude. And I said vegetarian, not Shut vegan. Up, bro. I'm just saying, I haven't had something I've liked yet. Vegan, right. vegan farts are disgusting. You can't lie. Oh, I don't. I'm Jesus. That's right, dude. Yeah. 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 We'll I'm see. My oh, God. God. We'll see. We're going to put this guy in a tour <laughs> van and find out. Next time on Room yeah. 6. <laughs> no. Uh, so, to, so to circle way back, uh, Huge in Japan was a was not funk. Huge in Japan. Was a shirt. Yeah. You know John Barr, the furniture. The, yeah, uh, I'm going to sell, sell you a sell car. Your car. Yeah, dude. I've sold him furniture twice in my life. Really? And both times he walked in wearing, I'm huge in Japan. Oh, yeah. Uh, Almost yes, everybody's sir. huge in Japan, though. No, yeah. but he's, like he's, he's, he's like not. Thing. He is a yeah. short man. Yeah. And so it's hilarious when he wears it. But anyway, go ahead. You were saying, long live huge. Yeah, and I would have never left that band if Tim didn't move away. Love you, Tim, but come on. Um, but come on. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, yeah. Tim. But uh, I wouldn't have met these guys hey. if, if he didn't. So thanks, Tim. I still oh, miss God. you. I still miss you, dude. He misses you. He talks uh, about you all the time. I, I do, promise. man. I, I do. Tim, okay. come back. I Where out. are you? Through the window. And I, uh, but yeah. Through the walls. So, when it, so we were actually in the same room for the first time in like almost a decade. So we, we had to get that picture. Wow. Yeah, dude. It was so cute. Long live huge. Yeah, man. Long live huge. Nice. Love those guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going now yeah. with this with this interview. We're all over this no, dance. seriously yeah. though. To hell in a handbag. We're sorry. Right. We're change our You're not sorry. I'm not. I've never known where I'm going. But anyway, we are. so like I said, stick around. We're gonna have they're gonna have some more fun upstairs in room six. But uh, a couple more questions and then we're done. Okay. Uh, how long Ooh. has I I'll catch fire been together? Ooh. With this lineup. Yeah, this with this lineup. Uh, two years. Oh, okay. So you've got some shows under your belt. No, no, no. we've no. just been recording. Okay, you're one of those bands. Cool. Yeah. We're yeah. an insta band right We're now. So if I said, "As I'll catch fire," what's your favorite show memory? You really don't have one. Uh, going to shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to a lot of shows yeah, together. Show. Yeah, you know. we definitely go to you a lot of shows. Yeah. We like the local scene. We try to support as mm. many of the local bands as we can. Some okay. Of them are room then I will I. bypass that question. Bypass it. Go around. Good use of go the room six it, alumni. Like you do. The best show was at Maddie's house. That's true. That was a good one. Yeah, that man. Was one. That was a good there one. Was no show, no. There was cats there. Yeah. yeah. He and guinea pigs. Cats. And well, guinea pigs. There was one cats. kid. There was one kid, and he stood in the front, and he had an I'll Catch Fire shirt on, and he was like, this man sucks. Yeah, and I threw my drumstick at him. 
And then he listened he to all the songs. never the same again. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't been the same since. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for hanging in there with us. You've been amazing. And yeah, if you're still here, <laughs> thank you for coming on the channel. Sponsor. Well, thank you for coming back, and thank you for coming on the channel. Thank you for having us. I hope it wasn't Come horrible. Go. Stick around. We're going to see them upstairs. Make sure you check out the social media links down in the description, and we'll catch you in the outro. In the meantime, temporarily say goodbye, guys. See you later. See you, later. Bye. See you, guys. See you in a bit. What's up? Here's There Am I. Another night, and I got 15 stitches from a fist fight that I started and couldn't close. So where'd you go? I spent three days down without so much as a call. I'm in a hole. Eight knuckles left in seven years of woe. We Whisper words in delicate phrases Lost our way and no one can say this Cause all things end and time will tell We are born to win and only fail Another drive, three coffees deep Shaking hands in bloodshot eyes Time. We're in green, desperate, need that red light There's nothing left, just loose change and the smell of cigarettes I've got a bad feeling about this I've got a bad feeling about this We whisper words in delicate phrases Lost our way and no one can say What's up? Again. Again. This is lonely. All the dead end gigs I lived for And even less that I got paid for Unless we're talking beer and cigarettes Hey, yo, I don't wanna die But I kinda wanna party till I see the light Anxious, like all the time Work it out, but I end up hanging Oh, it's a vicious cycle that we live for Always want Take me back to happy when I had dreams I didn't 
asking for I had it all but wanted so much more And I the gas to get there Hey, I need to extend my eggs When I leave there's no re-entry Snake eyes in an empty pack Out of luck if my wallet's empty Uh, yeah, we like to have fun here at room six. <laughs> it's going to be room seven if he breaks the whole I want to thank All Catch Fire for coming on the show. It was a great interview and an awesome performance. If you want to know more about what they're up to, hit those social media links down below. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click up there. Don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, which is not pop punk, click over there. Right on the other side of that guy. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time. On room six. Say goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Bow.